funeral service will be held this morning for veteran Newark firefighter Augusto Akabu. He was one of two firefighters killed last week while battling the massive cargo ship fire at Port Newark. CBS News' Ania Maldonado was live outside the church in Newark where this morning's service will take place. Ania? Well, Chris and Mary, in just a couple of hours, this area will be filled with members of the Newark community, the fire department, and loved ones of Augusto Akabu, the firefighter that passed away during this vessel fire. Now, he will be laid to rest at 10 a.m. It was a painful day yesterday for the family of Akabu during his viewing, firefighters saluting as his casket was carried inside the Cathedral Basilica of the Sacred Heart in Newark. Akabu's family following behind. Born into a Portuguese family, Akabu's obituary describes him as a real-life Superman who brought constant joy to those around him and touched the hearts of everyone who had the privilege of knowing him. Loved ones pr proud of the 45-year-old's life choice to serve as a Newark firefighter. He was assigned to Engine 16 and was also in line to rise to the ranks of captain. He is survived by two brothers, his life partner and her daughter, those close to the nine-year veteran reflecting on the legacy he'll now leave behind. Jokes are pranks there, uh, funny, uh, knew how to light up a room. He studied hard, uh, did, his, did his very best on the job. He was the guy that you wanted to, to have on your side. And we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that they are uh, laid to rest and, and honor the way they should be. Now, the viewing for the other firefighter, Wayne Brooks Jr., will also be held here this afternoon, and his funeral is set for tomorrow morning. And once again, Akabu's funeral will begin at 10 a.m. Live this morning from Newark, New Jersey, Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zania, thank you 